Hey, what's up guys? It's Lego Repair here and we're back with a brand new part of my Let's Play of The Evil Within 2 on Nightmare. Sit back, relax and enjoy the gameplay. Damn it. Son of a bitch still has Lily. And now I'm back to square one again. We've re-established contact with the Marker, Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Finally. Are you all right? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's gotten Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Uh, I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I'm so close. I can feel it. We want to find her just as much as you do, Sebastian. Yeah, sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. We've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now, you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Gotta figure out where he took her. Think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. Well, he's been doing that since the beginning, so it's not surprising. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Sorry. That lunatic still has her. But I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it. Looks like turning the emitter back on to stabilize some passages there. Exit D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me. Me neither. Chapter 6 on the hunt. So now I gotta go back to the marrow, right? Right. I mean, can I... I haven't explored that way. I'm just gonna go check it out real quick. If I can find, like, just one bullet. That would be a win. Maybe a statue, too. That would be cool, too. I'm too blind to notice them. Uh...
Well, this is a whole lot of nothing. Here I've already been, so okay, well that's it for this spot. Uh, back to the marrow we go, I guess, but I don't have any ammo. <laughs> that's gonna be a bummer. But I have some gunpowder, so I think I'll be alright. Can you, uh, it would be cool if I could slide the stairs, you know? Uh, not the stairs, but the. This ladder. Uh, coffee. How's my health looking? Pretty good. Okay, so no bench here. Okay, let's go back to Sebastian room. And Kidman left stuff for us, she said. So let's see. What's up, cat? Fortunately, I haven't found any slides. Uh, probably missed some in the city hall, to be honest. They asked. There has to be one there, but... Okay, let's check here if, uh... She has really giving us some stuff. There's nothing! Oh! There it is, Stefano. Take a look at some of the information I was able to dig up on your guy. Stefano Valentini. Artist. Yeah, that's him, alright. He's quite a flamboyant character. Seems he never reached the level of success that he wanted. Sounds familiar. I know of another flamboyant artist who failed. Then he started World War II. Let's hope this one isn't that bad. Even if he's not, he still needs to be stopped. I agree. Being the tip of the knife is a dangerous job. Okay, so this one's dead. At least he died fighting. Without him, that stable field emitter would still be off. Wow. So, we haven't met uh, y Yukiko and Julian yet. Okay, well. Maybe they're gonna be in the next uh, scene, whatever, the theater. Sorry, cat, no slide. Can't help you. Uh, weapon parts. Mm. Only two, wow. So, what do I want to upgrade next as far as weapon goes? Uh, do I still want to upgrade the firepower? Sure, I'll get it. Hate on Drill, wow. 360, so that's probably what I'm gonna save for next. I think I have a key, but I'm not sure about it. Do you want to talk to me, Tatiana? Hmm, not looking so good. Let me help you. You've returned. And now you fully understand what you're up against. He's powerful. He's also a sick freak. But he is as driven as you are. And seeking the same thing. You are more like than you care to admit. I'm not like him. He's a murderer. And there are no bodies strewn in the path behind you? I'm not here to debate with you. Let's get going. I got stuff to do. Hmm. So at least I'll have one shotgun shell. So let's open this. 3000 green gel. Hmm. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Oh, I know. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Nope. Hmm. 
think I'll go with uh, maybe stamina recovery. This is so useless. Uh, Huh. The skills in this game are kind of whatever. I don't know what to think about them. But at least I got some bullets. Uh, got some skills. We got the boss fight without dying, actually. It wasn't that hard, but still. Uh, so let's continue. Need to go back to the marrow. Take the exit. D5, I think. Yeah, exit D5. I wonder if the marrow is going to change from last time. Exit B2, we're back. Oh. Handgun ammo pouch. Ooh. Uh, I have a shotgun shell too. Might as well load it in. This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Oh, okay, so yeah, because we uh, repaired the emitter. Yep. Ah. So now I can go further here. The west section. Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Yeah, no shit, Sebastian. There we go. I see a nice chest in here. What is this? A new weapon? That would be cool. No, just weapon parts and gel. That was not that great. Thought it would be a better loot in there. Dear God, that was bad. Daddy. What's the point of having that big of an ammo pouch if I can't even have like more than 10 bullets in my gun? Oh my god. Well, axe, you're gonna be used right here. <laughs> well, I lost the axe, but it was worth it. It was funny. So I'm going to try my new stealth abilities here. If I'm good enough. Try something. How many bottles do I have? Two. Well, I want to 
gonna try my new stealth abilities, but I guess that works. I guess that works better, actually. Okay. Does it need to be open? Okay. Good, good, good. Let's move on. I don't know if I really want to go in the depth of this thing, to be honest. So I don't have a choice, huh? Oh god. The Mario facilities. Oh good. Oof. What the hell is this stuff? That's a good question. I don't want to touch this. I guess I don't have a choice. It's some sticky glue or something. Maybe there's a statue in it in some... There's some gunpowder in there. So this slows you down. That's interesting, I guess. I guess a shotgun is better if I get jumped on. There's something glowing there. At least put me a good channel if you want to open the TV. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death. Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra, you're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. You were right all along. How did she knew that? Photographic slide. But, but why am I seeing this now? Maybe because you're crazy, Sebastian. Have you thought of that? Okay, nothing here. I was glad it's safe, but I'm not so sure. No, I'm not so sure. Okay. Another boss fight? You turn around or you just need to look here all the time. Okay.
Why? Just why? I don't think that was the right plan here. We're good, right? It's gonna come back. I know we're not done with this thing, but... Ooh! Hey! My friend! You feel like you've seen this before, but you can put quite your finger on when and where it was. But at any rate, it looks pretty cool, so you decide to keep it in your room. It's like the Dishonored Mask. Nice. You know, that's all cool, but ammo would be better. Just saying. Especially if I, if I have to kill this thing. Yep, I knew it. Well, it used no bullet for that. So that was part of the... I thought this place was supposed to be fucking stable. And I thought you would be smart, Sebastian. Turns out you're not. Uh, the Marrow facilities. Exit D5. Oh, that's the right place. Exit 72. Well, I'll have to kill this thing later on, I'm pretty sure. That's gonna be a funsy. Ooh, safe house. go any zombie in here oh my god there's a lot of loot though oh wow one shotgun shell Woo! it's a party man displacement protocol emergency core displacement protocol it is important imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocol must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only accessible for Mobius operatives with alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Maro servers. I think I have enough for the critical shot with my, uh, my pistolate. Okay. Someone's been watching. Lily. Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. B who told you that? Turn around. 
Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of micro-expressions and deflection. No verbal parody. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have. But the only one I found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on. But this place is still falling apart. And I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union. And can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair our communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. So does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth, too, until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right. But consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us, he's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. 
Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. Not all the boss, maybe? Hey, but we found the psychologist. Uh, of course, we're finding the most useless member as far as combat goes. So that's the reason of the game for not ha them helping us, I guess. Oh, a mirror. Nice. What's this? Is that the exit? Oh, no, that's the exit. Okay, so I can investigate a computer. She didn't give me any side quests, unfortunately. So I'm full. Email core candidates. Uh, all concern on prohibitive Grisham. Lily Castiano's initial finding. The initial core candidate must must have uh, an unfettered ego in order to re retain their own personality while supporting the interlinking minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate type of types. Egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in a stem. So a child is our best bet. That's still, <laughs> that's so fucked up. Having access to standardized school test results, we were able to narrow down our option. We feel that we found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her test shows that she's not only as guileless ego, but she's also exhibited incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending to her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. <laughs> yeah, I have another slider cat this time. I feel like it's I missed some though. I'm sorry. Oh, turns out I didn't. Who's that? That's the artist with my wife. Wake up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. But oh, that's Sebastian. I, I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself, but after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. Still. Thank you for the green gel, Mr. Caddy Boy. Uh, so let's upgrade our pistol, shall we? Oh, it's 360. Oh, I thought it was 200 for an odd reason. Uh, let's craft some bullets, though. Five bullets? Yeah, sure. I, re I really need some bullets. Okay, so let's save in the... In Yukiko's office. Well, if... <laughs> we can call that her office. So that's where I came from. So I guess I just need to save and then go to uh, the, the theater, I guess. On the hunt, let's go. So no side mission for me, Miss Hoffman. It's quite unfortunate. 